I don't understand why everyone's so afraid of an advisory committee. Aboriginal communities continue to be used as a political football. And I think all of us deserve a fair go and a level playing field. But we have so much more work to do. Everyone seems to talk about the statistics and the overrepresentation. Life expectancy, incarceration, education, employment. We know these stats. But they won't listen. If we can't be heard, we can't be seen. If we can't be seen, we don't exist. If we're acknowledged in the Constitution, we do have a, an opportunity to be able to hear our voice spoken in Parliament. And we get to hear from real people, real communities with real issues. When we have Indigenous voices, not only part of the conversation, but actually making the decisions for other Indigenous Australians, we see success. That money that is spent will be spent better. So I would say if you want to spend less, vote yes. We as parents want to give a better version of life than what we've all had. We want to be able to celebrate our culture with our non-Indigenous brothers and sisters and all walk together in a really bright future. To be a part of the longest continual culture in, in the world is a blessing, but it's also a responsibility. And I think that's very much so for all Australians, that we've all got a responsibility as people of this country. We've all got to stand up and um, hopefully say yes to, to the voice. <laughs> if we get caught up in the hate and we get caught up in what might be or what could be, we're going to miss a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm voting yes. I'm voting yes. I'm voting yes. Nathani. And I'm voting yes. Well, I'm voting yes. I'm voting yes. I am voting yes. And I'm voting yes. Authorised by Dean Parkin, Australians for Indigenous Constitutional Recognition Limited, North Sydney.